by internet. In this video I will show you how to make any 3D object or text disintegration in particles in 3D Studio Max, without using any plugin. Okay so hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel. Do hit that notification bell also. So open your 3D Studio Max. And insert the title text that you want. I will write my name. And now you have to insert bevel modifier to convert it to geometry. Select the desired font. Ok now I will clone this text, because we will need two of these. Make sure to rotate both of these to facing the front view. While making the text, try to make of similar size as mine. Just try to make similar size from the grid view. Ok, this plane will slice the text, and later we will generate the particles from the intersection. Now place and animate the plane so that it goes across the text. Place it very close to text on first frame. And now place it close out of the other end. Ok now I will apply the boolean operation on the text. And do these steps to make the boolean. So now the result object is only the intersection of the two. And that's cool. Now it's time to create the particle system. Make its facing to text writing direction. Open the particle view. Insert the position object modifier. And select that boolean object. You will see some invalid particles, so do these steps. This will remove those invalid particles. Now you can see that particles are emitted from that intersection boolean. The frame error is low due to screen recording software running. The intersection duration is 50 frames. So set particles birth up to 50. Also increase the number of particles. This is the other text that we cloned. So now I will apply the slice modifier onto it. So it will look like being cut. The duration and positioning of the slice must be same as that of the boolean. Consider this plane gizmo as that plane in the boolean. Animate it in that way. Do same as that. And that's cool.
OK now I will insert the wind force which will disperse the particles. Insert that force effect and select the icon from the view. Decrease the particles amount for the moment to increase performance. You can see the effect if I turn off the modifier. OK, we must make the emitting speed to zero or off. It will look good. Turn back the force on. OK now I will work on the parameters of the wind, which will flow the particles and disperse. Select smaller strength. This step will be the hard one. Selecting the parameters nicely. I found out these values. Turbulence means the size of waves. Frequency means how often the waves change. Scale means the overall size of the wind. Tweak these settings and observe different results. OK so now I'm increasing the duration of whole animation. Not necessary. Change the birth duration also. Press Shift plus V and you can make quick preview of it. Now converting the particles to geometry. Decrease its size from there. Shift plus V to make preview. And that is looking really satisfying. OK now it's time to insert camera and animate the camera. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And subscribe to this channel. Spectamin. Watch my other tutorials.